Hi, I'm Ray Ainsworth. Welcome to another segment of No Nonsense Horsemanship. We're in Wiggins, Mississippi today at the Bar M Ranch. A good friend of mine, Robert Montgomery, owns this ranch. He and his wife, Liz, and Robert's a reining trainer, and he's uh, been gracious enough to let us use his place today to, to uh, film, and uh, we certainly do appreciate it, Robert. Thank you very much. Well, anytime. All anytime. right. And what we're going to do today is advanced groundwork. If, if you've seen my basic groundwork, this is just another step up. It's like learning at, uh, regular math, 2 plus 2, and then algebra. We're fixing to teach this horse algebra, okay? And this is a 16-month-old, and if you've seen, she's been in a couple of my DVDs, one trailer-loading DVD and one the basic groundwork. And we're doing all this at the same day, so there's no... We're not doing any behind the scenes. You're seeing everything that we've done with this filly. And I did that because I don't want people to think that we took this filly and I did this and then we've spent three days and then I'm doing this. It's all, as you can tell in from the lighting on the basic and the advanced, that it's all the same day. Okay? So, what we're going to do real quick is we're going to go back through the basics just to make sure that she remembers it. And then we're going to go the advanced, okay? All right. Now, just in case you don't get don't have the basic, I'm going through this again. I don't have many tools. I have a rope halter that's so soft you can put it in your palm of your hand. I use a 12 foot lead rope. I use a four foot stick if you want to call it that. I call it an arm extension because that's what I'm going to do is just use it in my arm. And uh, and I don't use a stick and string because I want to be able to control the speed and the velocity of what I'm hitting this horse, or not hitting, excuse me, that I'm tapping this horse because I don't hit, okay? All right, and as you see, she's still, now I'm tapping her right there because I want her to move her butt around. And I'm gonna get a little harder, a little harder until she moves her feet. Move them around. Now, there. It's whatever it takes. Horses, I say horses have a, or I have a, uh, ugly scale. If they want to go to 60, I'll go to 61. Hopefully the next time I ask them to do the same thing, they'll be at 40 and I'll be at 41. And eventually we want to be at zero and one. Okay, that's the optimum communication level is zero and one. There's that licking and chewing. She's like, okay. All right. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to check her steering wheel, see if she remembers it. Now, if you notice, I'm not holding that. And see, there. Okay, now I'm going to check this side. Now, she can't walk off. If she does, I'm going to bump her back. She has to stand still. And Now, right there, what you just saw her do was a sign of disrespect. When I walk around this horse, I want her nose to go out of my way. Okay, so there, like she did on that side, but she's not comfortable, so I'm just going to bump her nose, and I'm going to keep walking back and forth until I get over here. See, now I'm not trying to tear her nose off. So all I'm doing is just picking this up and doing that, just real light, okay, until she understands that when I come around on this side, I need her nose to go the other way, like that but I need it on this side. Now part of it is she sees all these people out here that are watching and she doesn't want to do, but that's okay. We just have to keep doing it until she figures out that she's got to pay attention. This is one of those attention span drills. There we go. And however many times it takes is how many times it takes. Oh, I think she's, oh, I thought she was going to get it, but she decided not to. That's okay. Oh, there she went. Did y'all see her? There you go. Very good. And you see her looking at me like, Jesus, is that all you wanted? Okay, so we're going to try this side. Because again, there we go. I want to make sure I have a steering wheel so I can control where she goes. 